every business has slow seasons, whether it's something that you expect or something that comes out of nowhere. It can be really scary to not have as much money coming in as you're used to. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some ideas of what to do when business is slow. Hi, my name is Eileen. Welcome to Hustle & Slow, where I talk all about making money from home and building multiple streams of income. I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years now, and I am very familiar with slow seasons where I've had weeks, months, or even years that are really slow, and I've had to just figure out the best things to do when it's slow, so I wanna share some of my tips with you. Sometimes it's okay to relax a little bit during an expected slow season um, and just schedule time to not work as hard, but if you're looking for things to do when your business is slow and you want to use that period to grow your business, then I have plenty of tips for you. When business is slow, it's a good time to work on your business instead of in your business. When business is busy, you're kind of stuck in those day-to-day -day tasks and you don't have a lot of big picture or growth um, types of tasks that can fit into your schedule. So when it's slow and you don't have as many of those tasks because you're not sending as many orders or you're not working with as many clients, it's good to work on your business. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what to do when your business is slow. And while this is going to be in general for entrepreneurs and small businesses, I'm also going to give specific tips for resellers since I know there are a lot of resellers that watch my videos. The first thing you need to do is figure out why business is slow. Is it just a slow season? If you're a reseller, you might find that summer is a little bit slower than the rest of the year, especially leading up to quarter four when it's going to be really, really busy. So that's a good time to be planning for that, right? If you're in another type of business that has a slow season and it's expected, that's one thing. And it's a little bit easier to plan for that and kind of deal with that because you know that it's expected and it's nothing to panic about. But if you're finding yourself in a slow season of your business and you're not really sure why, it's time to figure out why that is. Are you just not getting as much traffic to your website? Um, maybe some competition has popped up that offers better services and maybe they're better at marketing themselves to your potential clients. Figuring out why your business is slow is crucial during this time because you wanna make sure that it's not your business going under and it's just a slow season and you can eventually get your sales back up. So now's the time to figure out what you can work on in your business. Is it hustle time or is it something that's expected and you know it'll go back to normal soon? Spend some time digging into your data. If you don't take a lot of data, that's fine. You can go into your sales um, or your traffic on your website or whatever data that you can find um, or gather and start to look at your data and find out what's working, what's not working, which types of products or services tend to be doing really well or maybe what products or services were doing really well and no longer are. So by digging into your data and your numbers, you can kind of figure out what is and isn't working for you. Next, you're gonna to wanna to use that data to optimize your business. Get rid of any dead weight, anything that's a waste of your time and really focus on the stuff that's really helping your business, helping your business grow, bringing you um, sales, bringing you higher profits. Those are the things you want to find out and really go all in on. So for example, I recently cut out most social media other than like YouTube and Pinterest because things like Instagram and I was trying TikTok for a while, they really weren't bringing me a lot of return on my investment of time. And I was spending a couple hours a week at least on those platforms between posting things and also just getting distracted on those platforms. So I cut them out and now I have several hours a week that I can dedicate to things that actually are bringing me a return on my investment, whether it's time or money. You can also use this time to find new ways to bring in sales to your business. So for example, if you sell products and you're getting a lot of your sales from Pinterest traffic, see if there are other ways you can get traffic or ways that you can increase your traffic or sales from the place that's working for you. Finding new ways to bring in sales or new ways to bring in traffic is always helpful and it's always good to test out new ways and not just rely on one or two things that have been working. While you do want to push towards those things that are working really well, it's also good to test other ways to um, bring in traffic or sales. Additionally, you might want to try to cut expenses. Um, I'm not, I used to be really, really, really frugal in my businesses and not want to spend any money on anything. If it was like $10 a month, I didn't want to spend it. Um, but now I'm at the point where I know that 10 or 20 or even $50 a month, if that can save me a couple of hours a week or a month, that's totally worth it. But if you're at a point where your business is down a little bit and you need to cut some costs, go in and look at your bank statement and see if there's anything that you can cut out that you don't really need. Don't cut out anything that you need or anything that's really beneficial to your business, but sometimes you find that you're subscribed to something that you don't really actually need and you just haven't had a chance to cancel it or look into it more. So this is a good time to kind of review your bank statements and see what you're spending money on that you shouldn't be spending money on. Another thing you can focus on during this time is to figure out a plan for future times when your business is slow. So because your business is slow right now, are you struggling a little bit to keep up with your bills or are you feeling 
um, a little bit more financial strain. If that's the case, this is a good time to kind of plan out future um, slower times in your business so that you don't feel that financial strain or you don't start to panic and feel like you might not be able to pay your bills if it goes on for a couple extra weeks or months. How can you save and take money from good months and kind of spread them out so that it helps cover those bad months too? I personally use the profit first method. I will link to the book below. I've talked about it a million times. It really helps me to allocate my funds properly and kind of make things so that I get an even paycheck every single month whether things are higher or lower than usual. This could be a really good time to add some systems into your business, some things that can kind of make you work more efficiently um, and save you time. If you're a reseller, maybe getting a better organization system put together, maybe you've been meaning to do that or get a spreadsheet put together. Um, I have a whole unit in my reseller roadmap course, which is for beginning resellers. And I talk all about creating systems about basically everything in your business so that you're working effectively and not wasting your time on things that you could do quickly and efficiently. If you're interested in that course, I will leave a link down below with a coupon code. You could use this time to go all in on the one thing that makes you sales. Um, if you're a reseller, you know that listing is like the number one thing you need to do to make sure you get sales. If it's not listed, then you can't sell it. But many resellers have a hard time listing and I used to be one of them as well. So if you have a death pile of 100 or 200 items that just aren't listed, then spend time doing things that are going to bring you sales. Don't waste your time on all the other little things that really aren't that important. Make sure you're really focusing on the one top thing that is going to bring you your profit. On this channel, I talk a lot about building multiple streams of income. I have several of them, I think seven at this point. Um, and this could be a good time for you to do that as well. Maybe you don't, maybe your business is optimized and it's just a slow season or you want to just build another stream of income. That is something that you can look to do when you have a little bit of time because business is slower. For example, I started writing on Fiverr as an additional stream of income to see if it was something that I could make maybe a couple hundred dollars extra a month doing because it was something that didn't need inventory and I wanted to find a way to make money on the road when we were living in our RV and it quickly became one of my biggest income streams. I've talked about it several times. You can check out this video and this video. Um, and I also have a course called Fiverr Kickstart that I will link to down below to help you get your first orders. So if you've been looking for ways to diversify your income and not rely all on one thing, then this might be a good time to start looking into that. And kind of relating to the course I just mentioned, you can use this time to expand your skills or your knowledge. Take a course, um, learn more about your business or an additional business or ways to improve your business or your time management or anything that's going to help you in the long run. I always love learning more about business in general, about marketing, and just expanding my knowledge in the different parts of my business so that I feel like I have all the tools that I need and I'm constantly growing with my business. Hopefully you found some of these tips helpful for when business is slow. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me about creating multiple streams of income and working from home.